everyone so this is my mini research proposal all right so the title is is a mining the influence of cognitive learning on writing skill in english language teaching among secondary students in serambangar school malaysia okay so for now uh, this proposal is not completely done i need to do some correction here and there but for now i want to share with you how i do my research methodology so let's move on to chapter three which is research methodology all right here we are okay so for the first one i do my introduction simple introduction then research design sample and population research instruments which have we, we have two questionnaire and also the interview protocol data collection method research analysis procedure and the last one i do my chapter summary okay so for now i want to explain to you some of the features for my part in chapter three okay so basically for sample and population uh, i'm doing uh, on 50 students and five esl teachers okay so the reason for i'm doing in sekolah menengah sains tuanku asya rohani or serambangar school is because uh, uh, at the school is near to my neighborhood all right so and it is easy for me to reach to their students and also there are some there are quite good school in ranking in malaysia ranking okay so i decided to take 50 students because uh because i want to cover the all great for a student from form one to form five okay so basically i think the sample is quite enough for me to do this uh, research okay so for the population is on sekolah menengah science tuanku aisha rohani or serambangar school seramban all right so for the research instruments i'm doing two research instruments two main research instruments which is questionnaire and also the interview protocol all right so for the questionnaire i'm planning on doing a, a liquid scale type questionnaire liquid scale type whether it is 3.0 or 5.0 liquid scale and also i'm doing interview protocol to the english teacher esl teachers five esl teachers okay uh, the reason i'm doing this uh, interview protocol is to uh, to to investigate their perspective regarding their students writing skill performance and also the influence of cognitive aspect in their english language teaching in classrooms whether or not they practice the cognitive learning and also i want to know how the writing skill of their students in a uh, classroom okay so uh, the scripts from the interview will be uh, recorded and transcript uh, to my research soon after the interview had been done all right so the next one the next one is data collection method data collection method okay data collection method uh, i'm planning on doing my uh, spss for the data collection method all right so for the research analysis procedure i will analyze the real data collected from the previous questionnaire distribution and also the interview so my comment hi everyone my name is mushaira binti mohammed my mature number is b125.43 
Okay, for today I will present to you my pre-recorded presentation regarding my research proposal for subject research method. Okay, so as you can see from the beginning of my video, I have listed several features in my research proposal so that you can refer to relating to this presentation. Okay, so for now, I will present to you my features related to the research. Okay, so for the first one, the research design. Okay, the research design in my study is very appropriate to answer my research questions because the instruments used are approachable and easy to undergo. The main reason for using a mixed method approach is to support the insufficient argument from the finding of my research. Okay, so the design carefully described to allow replicability in my study because it can be used in data collection. Okay, the design of the questionnaire in my study uh, is structured in the easy form that will allow the ESL students to answer freely based on their talks. Okay, so uh, besides that, the sampling selection uh, in this study is very appropriate for answering my two research questions because it involves all the stakeholders related to research topic. Okay, some of the stakeholders that related to this research are being selected using purposive sampling technique. Okay, so for the sample size, I'm using 50 ESL secondary students of STS Seremban Girls Schools from Form 1 to Form 5 and also 5 ESL teachers from the same school. Okay, so for the sample size, uh, I think it is uh, adequate because it is purposive sampling. Okay, so for the data collection method uh, in this study, I think also it is very appropriate with the research question because it will measure the mean score, the mode, the median and also the standard deviation to answer the first and second my research question. Okay. So for the data collection, uh, the data collection method in my research, it will allow the replication uh, because the T statistic that I will be using uh, allows the, my study uh, to be test a hypothesis about the population mean difference using sample data from a repeated measures research study. Okay. So the data analysis method uh, appropriate for my research question because uh, the using the because the descriptive analysis uh, from the study that I have been using in the study can provide basic information about variables in the data set and also be able to highlight potential relationship between my variables. Alright, so my data analysis method can be described in detail when the result of T statistic came out. I'm planning on using SPSS. Uh, from T sample in this research, okay. So uh, from the data analysis method, uh, it will be described well by using this T statistic, okay. So uh, my proposal uh, didn't address ethical issues. I don't have ethical issues. Everything according to ethical considerations such as ensuring the confidentiality of the research data and also anonymity of individuals participating in this research. Okay, so for the instrument and okay, so for the instrument, it is valid and reliable because I plan to undergo the face validity with the research instructor. Okay, so for the data collected and analyzed, uh, it will be in a way that ensures the result is trustworthy. Okay, so because it covered an adequate sample for the population. Okay. I think that's all for me. Thank you.